four, three, two. All right, welcome to the BSG series cast between Heartland Hitmen and Pandora's Mighty Soldiers. This is a best of seven all kill format, similar to the GSTL. Whoever wins stays, whoever loses is out. And we are starting off in the top right corner. We have Pandora's Mighty Soldiers, Drew Universe as our Green Terran. And in the bottom left, we have Heartland Hitman's Little Skank as the Pink Zurich. Pink, always the classiest color. All right, BSG stands for Bronze, Silver, Gold. And in this case, we have Skank as our Bronze player and Drew as our Silver player. These, this wasn't a super hyper-competitive matchup. This was just practice for each of the teams, get used to the format, have some fun. So good manners and fun all around. So we're going to have a ZVT. And this is on Neoplanet S, and this is an interesting map. We've got the basic ramp down to the natural, reasonable choke, but things get really dicey when you start getting into the third base. This third base down here is... Oh, oh, okay, sorry, this... Uh, didn't realize there was a uh, observer chat. All right, anyway, third base down here. You have an attack path here and an attack path here with a huge gaping open area here and over here you have attack path here attack path here it's really hard to actually be able to defend that third uh, with anything short of well for Zerg you have a lot of counter attack opportunities you have a lot of attack paths you have a lot of ways to split up an enemy army very tricky for Terran to defend also for Protoss to take that third base but that is neither here nor there so we do have Skank going for an early gas and an early pool, not going hatch first against Terran. And also the gas deal, which will possibly slow down Drew Universe if he's going for any sort of super early tech. But generally that is better for... Oh dear, I think my sound is gone. If somebody could... Somebody in the chat, please let me know if the ch sound is okay. Okay, well, sound for uh, the in-game, I should say. Sound is good? Okay, sound is good. Here we go. That's Marine shooting. Anyway, so, gas deal against Terran. Now oh, we're gonna, we're gonna put this up just a little bit. Do, do, do. Let's try that. All right, let's hope that works a little better. Replay uh, sound does get a little, a little bit janky uh, in replays, so hopefully that will that will work out pretty well. Anyway, so gas deal against Terran. Uh, fun facts with the gas deal: if you start an extractor and you have one marine firing at it, the marine will not kill the extractor uh, before it finishes. So you can cancel and restart, cancel and restart over and over and over, and one marine literally can never kill. Uh, that drone. It's a small expenditure of minerals that will get you a reasonable amount of scouting. You can also cancel, run the drone around, uh, see things like a factory or the second barracks. The second gas, generally a Terran will not be taking that second gas super early unless they're going for some sort of a Banshee banshee rush or anything like that. One gas though, very common now for Widow Mines and Drops. And We do have a very early stim coming down from Drew, as well as a Third base in the middle of nowhere from Skank. This is a super ninja base, taking a page from our very own ninja base king. <laughs> ninja base king, not ninja base sking. Uh, Spectre. All right, Drew's following this up with a very quick expand. So kind of a middle middle of the road. Uh, can't really take advantage of these barracks. He's going to get a very early stim, but he's not really going to have that much of an army to go with it. Uh, also, a very quick second gas, so we're going to be seeing some tech coming out, most likely. Also, very quick add-ons. can start cranking out marauders for possible roaches, and double marines at a time. Back home, Skank is getting zergling speed and nothing else for the moment. Does need to start... has a lot of lings. This is actually a bit dangerous, just because all these lings uh, will not really... 
you generally will not really do much. And Spork, you asked that question many days ago, and in this replay, but now, I'm casting it. Alright, but anyway, uh, all these Zerglings, they're about to get speed, which is great, and actually, this is a very vulnerable expansion right now, but that was a lot of early links, and he needs to do some damage with them very soon, because that was a huge, huge amount of larva and minerals spent that could have been drones. And right now, we have 15 drones against 22 SCVs, so these links need to do some damage, and quick. They should be able to get a lift off here, but they have no real hope of actually getting up into the main. He is going to try and attack. Stim is done. Likely will not use it. So this base will get locked down at least for the moment, which is great. Does get a mule. Always, always a good time there. Oh, the Marines do move down. That is a pretty gutsy move, but with the Stim, they should be able to take out everything. Hard to see exactly what's going on beneath everything, but... Yeah, the Lings have been sufficiently shut down. But they might actually run up into the base. No, they just missed their opportunity. Could have gotten up into there, and these lings are actually they're, they're, that might have been a bit of over micro from Drew, trying to run away too much without actually getting the damage out. And those lings will actually clean up that army. All right, so these lings being very troublesome now. And while Skank back home does have a baneling nest up, still has that one gas going, no lair in sight. But now getting some drones up here. And this base is likely not going to be scouted for a long, long time. These Marines, again, kind of over microing, can just stand there and shoot everything up. And they will clean up those lings. That expansion will get back to work very shortly. Alright, and wow! Skank has shot ahead in the drone count. Alright, 40 drones to 24 SCVs. So a little bit of early damage with those lings has definitely paid off. Skank in a very, very nice spot now. Factory finally coming up for Drew. Has double ebays going for those double ups. And combat shield going to heavy bioplay. And with this reactor, likely to see some Widow Mines uh, to join this. Widow Mines plus bio, very popular, very strong. Very hard for a Zerg to deal with, especially with Zerglings. Wood of Mine's just so devastating against those Zergling packs. Would love to see a little bunker here. Uh, just some kind of wall started up. Because a lot of Lings can actually take out that small amount of Marines pretty easily. Alright, still no layer for Skank. Does have the gas for it. And not sure where he is going from here. Could use some Evo Chambers, could use some upgrades of his own. Uh, could get some more gas does need to actually start start using all that money that he's starting to get saved up. Got some lings up here, being pretty passive. Could be doing a little bit of poking, poking and prodding. Alright, Drew is now saturating up this base down here. Still a little bit low on workers. Does need to get a few more. Again, this is a silver versus bronze, so we are not expecting any sort of perfection. Alright, huge group of Lings moving on out. He does have a Baneling now, so he could get a Baneling attack in here, which would be pretty nasty. But, oh, the Widow Mine is going to hit so many Lings, and every Ling just actually goes down right there. Everything is just absolutely destroyed. That was the worst possible scenario for Skank. Everything just went down. A couple Lings coming in, and on the move command, oh, we'll just run by... The Widow Mines are down now, though, and there are a lot of links coming up. He could have run up in there, just misses that opportunity, and will instead go to devastate this mineral line. Not a bad decision at all. Oh, those Widow Mines are starting to get... That 7-kill Widow Mine is about to fire. Another one goes down. 14 kills on that Widow Mine. Lings are just absolutely destroyed by what Drew has right now. So this expansion is down... And Skank is up in supply, but he does need to be so careful with those Widow Mines. Alright, would not be surprised to see some more Widow Mines after that. Also, does need to get that Armory up to get uh, past the plus one, plus one for his bio. Very common, by the way, for Terran to go uh, Engineering Bay, get plus one attack, and then add a second Engineering Bay and the Armory at the same time. The timing ends up pretty nicely. Alright, we have 
not much in the works for Skank. He does need to actually... Oh, also needs to saturate that gas. A little bit lopsided on the mineral counts as well. Uh, excuse me, on the saturation. Lots of roaches coming in. These are a lot beefier against the Widow Mines. It takes... Oh, uh, it does... Okay, it does take more than one hit from a Widow Mine uh, to kill a single roach. And obviously will not kill an entire pack of roaches. Will weaken them somewhat. But Marines and Hellions, not good against roaches at all. These roaches are going to do a ton of damage. Nothing really to actually stop them. Needs a tank, needs some marauders. Needs anything but what he has right now. And also these roaches do need to get up there. Some Hellions trying to run by. One of them does get by. Likely will not do much at all. Again, this expansion is being shut down very hard. Need a starport. Need a tank. Need something to actually take on... Uh, these are just lots of barracks with reactors, so we'll be seeing tons and tons of marines on the way. Uh, could be spending that money. But these roaches now locking down this expansion and expanding behind this, definitely love that. Would love to see some tech though. Need to see that lair, need to see a spire, something, ultralis, just hydras even. Though a lot of roaches right now are going to break through. They are going to take down the front. Lots of marines going down. Marines just do not do any damage against these roaches. Some mines trying to get some damage done, but when it takes two mine shafts to kill one roach, that is just not going to cut it. Alright, roaches moving on up. And Drew just doesn't really have all that much. Two starports going down with double tech lab. He might just be going for double Banshee, which if he can somehow get those out in time, that might do something. Alright, Roach is now getting a little choked up here. Not many Roaches being able to attack at once. The Marines with the superior range are going to actually get a lot of extra shots in there. Doing a lot more damage than they by all rights should. And the Roaches will get cleaned up. There is no follow-up attack. That is close enough. Some Roaches on the way now. If he had Lair, he could be getting Roach speed, but will not be able to do that uh, without that Lair tech. Also very low on gas, has this other gas down here, but has not actually saturated. These are now up and running. Very important. 62 drones to 22 SCVs. And oh, going right into the minefield. Oh, lots of splash damage, lots of, lots of red roaches. Marines suddenly not looking so bad against uh, these heavily ar armored roaches. Now going for this expansion again, taking it down, lower, 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 it is on fire, he is going to need to repair it, and it does not lift off, that expansion is gone, and two Banshees at a time are now out, coming out for Drew. Latest two-port Banshee ever, but it might be just the ticket, as obviously Roaches cannot shoot up, and with no, Lair Tech just starting at the 18 minute mark. Skank is really not going to have that much to defend against it. He does not have any spore crawlers, and that is the only way he can actually detect any sort of cloak banshee. I don't believe he is going for cloak. Uh, did he get cloak? No, he did not. All right, he did not get cloak, and he's not getting cloak. So that is something going uh, in Skank's favor. And mine! Oh, the mine with the huge splash damage on all those hurt roaches will take out that next wave. But there are more on the way, but all these lings are going to run right into more widow mines. All right, these mines, these lings now trying to scout out whether or not... Oh, but these are now just recharging up, and... Dude. Oh, they are all gone again. That was super unfortunate. He ran up there trying to look for mines and found them with his face uh, a couple seconds later after they finished recharging. More roaches on the way. This seems to have worked, but now there are some banshees out, and these banshees, it'll take a little while to actually take out these roaches, but they will slowly but surely uh, whittle down this force. And with this wall up here, these roaches really can't get in there. And... Okay, the mines recharge once more, but do not actually get another shot off. Now we do have a lair up, but what is he using it for? He does have roach speed on the way. Sticking with roaches, would love to see a hydra den. And maybe some ranged attacks and upgrades. Roach hydra is actually pretty solid. Uh, now in Heart of the Swarm, especially with Blinding Cloud with Vipers, do have to watch a bit for the drop play. And there is the Hydra Den, as well as Baneling Speed. Alright, Drew is stuck on this one base. 
Oh. He has gotten his money back down. Skank now with a huge, huge trust fund. He is the Donald Trump of Zerg. But what can he spend that money on? Zerglings are going to be pretty useless against all these Widow Mines. Would love to see an Overseer out here, too. And a lot of Banshees coming out here. And it looks like he's going to be committing pretty heavily to these Banshees. Two at a time still being made. And as was pointed out, lots of idle drones, but I'm not sure if that's actually that big of an issue. What he needs right now is gas. He has tons of minerals. Needs that gas. And needs to be spending that gas on useful things such as Hydra. He's getting the Hydra range right now. And a lot of links going in, but a huge pack just takes out on that Widow Mine. Another huge... Oh, an absolutely brutal hits from these mines. All of the Zerglings have been taken out. Lots of roaches do remain, and they will be starting to take out this front wall. And as long as... Skank keeps him pinned on this one base. He can actually afford these not-so-great trades just by sheer force of economy. All right, Roach is now coming in, getting kind of stuck all over themselves. Will take out a fair number of Marines, but lots and lots of Banshees. And these Banshees need an answer. The Hydralis will be that answer, but he needs to actually get them out and across the map. I don't think any have actually gotten across here yet. And, oh, another huge hit from all those Widow Mines. These Lings are just not having a good day at all. Anno more hits going down. How many kills have these Mines gotten? 9 kills, 11 kills. 39 kills. Commander Widow Mine put him in a battle cruiser. And he Oh, another Commander. Alright, we need, we need multiple battle cruisers to run by Widow Mines. Just so much sickening damage uh, from these Mines. And Skank just with the relentless pressure. And again, as long as he can keep this expansion from going down, if he can take another base, if he can get this base uh, saturated up, he needs to take the gas here and needs to actually spend all that money. But as long as this doesn't get taken, he will be okay with these not-so-great trades. But lots and lots of Banshees. And oh my god, how many Banshees are we up to now? We are up to ten Banshees. And lots of Drones are a little bit drunk. Go home, drones. In fact, you should probably get over here. And should be getting some spore crawlers as well, I think. Just to be safe. I would love I'd love to see a spore crawler on each mineral line. Not a huge investment, especially with a bank like that. Just for the possible cloak of the Banshees. Stops the harass. And he does need quite a few more Hydras to take out these Banshees. Do have some medevacs on the way. And we are up to 12 banshees. 12 banshees. That is quite a lot of banshees. And he is now starting cloak for those banshees. So he's going to need detection. He needs the overseer, needs the spore crawlers in his mineral lines. Uh, all these drones, mining minerals that should be probably over here. But this, this I, I love seeing this. Taking the gold, taking this base, taking this base. Drew is very much pinned in his own base. He can't really move out, so taking all these bases, a beautiful decision. Because even if Drew takes out one of these bases, that means his army's out of position. He can just run in and do a lot of damage at the front. Alright, lots of Drew. Oh! Oh, lots of drones running into widow mines. These, oh, this is just like sac sacrifices to the gods right there. Lots of he was trying to build some hatcheries up there. I think he was. I don't know what exactly Skank had in mind. Maybe a little bit of uh oh, but another huge hit from another commander widow mine. Salute that mine. He deserves your respect. All right, do we have? We do have some hydras up now. But Cloak is there, and there is no Overseer. There is absolutely nothing to detect all these Banshees. And all these Hydras are just going to run in and die. He needs to pull them back. He needs to try and get away while he can. He needs to make some Overseers. 18 Hydras on the way. But he needs detection to, to start coming along with this. And does get a bit of damage on the Orbital Command. Does get a bit of damage on the Mineral Line, but not really enough on either to make that much of a difference. Lots of Hydras on the way. There's the Overseer. The Overseer does need to actually get into position to do some detection. Oh, we don't mind. Uh, oh, Hydras on move command just going right in. Uh, unfortunate rally point right to their death. Cloak is in, and this is just a meat grinder for the Hydralis. 
All right, coming back now to the Overseer, but there's so many Banshees and not enough Hydras. The Hydras again on the move command. Finally starting to attack. One Banshee does go down, but so many Hydras have gone down. And this is getting a little bit beyond the realm of cost efficiency. 6,500 minerals er, resources lost to 20,000 of the Zerg. And this absolute fleet of Banshees is coming in. No Spore Crawlers, nothing to defend against this. One Queen is not going to manage that. Just... <laughs> It completely one-shots the queen, and these banshees will just go around marauding the Zerg countryside. One hatch down. This hatchery up here, starting to get kind of spent. Needs need to actually see some spore crawlers going down, some more overseers, some more hydras. Two queens on the way. It does look like Drew can actually take this game with the just suddenly mass banshees. Though I shouldn't say suddenly, because Skank did see these coming and just didn't really prepare as he needed to. Aspire, get some Mutalists out there, they need those Spore Crawlers, uh, just more Hydras, not sending the Hydras into the Meat Grinder like that. Lots of things could have gone differently. And, <laughs> another Meat Grinder for these Roaches. This is just, oh, this should be illegal in 48 states. Lots of Hydras coming out, and the Hydras again on the move command, just rallying right through. And so many dead with absolutely nothing. It is just a massacre now. Oh, hide your children. Hide their eyes. Do not watch that. If you are squeamish at all. Lots of drones now going down. Do have a bit of a counterattack coming in, but these mines and this little bioforce should be more than enough to actually defend against this. Especially with these banshees doing so much damage. Oh, Skank needs... He needs a lot of things. He needs a lot of things to be to be quite blunt. He needs lots more hydras. He's making a bunch of lings, but oh, there go the mines. Mine does hit a roach, so that's not that bad for Skank. Another mine up here is likely going to hit a roach. It does does not actually kill anything, but will soften up that little pack and that amount of bio plus that last mine should be just fine. These lings, if they can actually avoid the mines, will be in pretty good shape. There goes down another roach. This pack of ranged units now getting very soft. Lots of links going down from that mine. And that bio might actually be able to stand there if it can find a spot where it won't get surrounded. But lots of reinforcing links might actually do a lot more damage. The Benchies now are taking out the main base. Back here, this counterattack is actually doing quite a lot of damage. These Hydralists are going to take out maybe these... No! The Hydras just suddenly go onto move command before taking out the other Banshee. And now it's hit that critical mass where that Banshee can actually clean up everything. Drew, meanwhile, has taken this base down here. I don't know if Skank even knows about it, but at this point, I don't think it matters because these Banshees just have no answer. The lair is down. Baneling Nest going to go down shortly. The gold is up and mining, and this base is still safe, but there's no Spore Crawler, nothing to defend. No one here. Just has some minerals going there, and oh, lots of drones not actually being able to mine. This has finally been cleaned up. And he will be moving his main orbital command to his expansion. Definitely a good decision. These Banshees, still no answer. I don't think there's much Skank can do at this point. He need, he, do, he still has his Hydra Den. He does still have his Hydra's Den, so he could make quite a few Hydras. He could make about 20 Hydras. And he's going to make 11. I think that's all the larvae he had. But he needs to get them into position. He, oh, but he can't make another Overseer. Oh, does he have any Overseers? He... He does not have any Overseers, so these Banshees cannot be detected. And without a lair, he cannot make any more Overseers. He needs to get Spore Crawlers down where those Banshees uh, will be engaging the Hydras. He needs to get a Spore up here, a Spore down here, though it's a bit too late for that now with these Banshees coming in uh, already. Maybe a Spore down here would be good. Oh, this base being retaken after being destroyed. I do like that, but... This... Not looking good. Could be making a lot... Actually, he does have 28 larva. He could afford uh, to make quite a few hydras. One hydra coming in, immediately dying to that mine. This pack coming in now, and using the hydras as a counterattack instead of as a defense. And Oh, but there's no roaches to tank for them, and they just go down with their just absolutely minimal HP. Hydras are better in Heart of the Swarm, but not that much better. They just have that extra little boost of speed off creep to get into position and out of danger, which 
was not entirely the case here. Drew hasn't really used this base, but will be able to mine there. Uh, would like to see a planetary, perhaps. Not even sure if he really needs it, uh, especially with this very fast and mobile Banshee fleet. Is going to scan and spot this base up here. This base completely mined out. He has really not much of an income to speak of. Neither player really have uh, all that much in terms of worker count. And lots of drones now really have nowhere to go. Oh, and the Banshees are coming into a completely undefended base. By the way, you do need that spawning pool to put down spore crawlers. And oh, an absolute massacre with the bio coming in to help that out. And Skank is down to zero supply. He has a spawning pool building. That should be GG at any moment. So these Banshees have been the MVP for Drew. Very well played, well done. Two Pandora's mighty soldiers. Skank just needed to... Well, there were there were a couple of things that, that uh, went wrong there. Some botched rally points, some move commands, some questionable Hydra positioning. Just need to react a little bit better to seeing this huge Banshee threat that he kept seeing at the front. More Banshees now joining the fray, still building two at a time. He does love his Banshees. And all that remains, Skank banking his hopes with his five supply against 110 on this one base down here. And... I don't really know what else to say. Skank, I don't think he realizes just how dead as shit he is. We'll be expanding down here again. But I just don't think there's really anything he can do. These Banshees, he's just sweeping the map now. Pool almost done. Scans and sees that the Banshees will immediately go on an intercept course. But first, they'll just murder this. Does know about this base. And there is nothing here. Could build a few Zerglings, but that's really not going to be enough. And with 18 Banshees, Drew has taken this game. Alright, that is game number one of the BSG series between Heartland Hitmen and Pandora's Mighty Soldiers. We'll be back soon with game number two.